Hey guys, it's Ash here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 room speed build. This time around, we are back into the styled room reno challenge. I do not actually have an official post yet when I was record when I've recorded this video, but hopefully by the time I have this video up and ready and like up and recorded, I will hopefully, you know, finish the actual I'm gonna make this like an official official challenge as in I'm gonna make a post on tumblr about this challenge and <laughs> life is gonna be great uh, <laughs> so yeah so pretty much uh, what this challenge is is I go in and or people can go in and remodel and refurnish the sims uh, pretty much the pre-made rooms in the sims 4 uh, you know, fun stuff like that. So, you know, I'm going through, I've actually done a whole lot of rooms for The Sims 4 um, base game, at least. This is a base game room, by the way. It was originally called Undressed to the 90s. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the name of this room. And so, yeah, it's, it's all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, let me see here. I actually do have a small mini list of the challenge picked out already. So, or I've already at least made some rules for this styled room challenge, uh, kind of deal going on. So, uh, what it is, is you can pick any of the styled rooms that the Sims team has created and place it down. Um, you must keep every item originally placed in the room. So every item that was originally placed in the room, you need to keep it. You can't delete any of said items. Like with this build, I really wanted to get rid of those sinks. Like you have no idea how much I wanted to get rid of those sinks. Like, oh boy. Um, you can move them around as much as you want, but you, you just got to make sure it's still in the said room. Um, the room must also stay the same sized as the original room. Um, you can't make it bigger or smaller or any of the other things. Um, it's also best advised to keep the same wallpaper and flooring. But you'll notice with this one uh, that I kind of changed up the wallpaper and the flooring. Because it just, I was trying, my brain, I don't know why, but I was trying to go for an industrial v feel while I was building this. And the wallpaper and the flooring are completely and utterly opposite to <laughs> the actual, like, feel of the room. So, you know, I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and just, you know, put that nut on there. So, yeah. I also want to say, uh, with this room, I also unlock, um, like, unlock the debug items and I put a fun little bit of fun like debug items in this room as well just you know for fun nothing like too crazy or anything just you know some cutesy fun things I guess that's a way to say it cutesy fun things oh no it I literally put a few debug items in the room just to help clutter it up because you know whenever I build these rooms I clutter it to the brim not even joking slightly, I literally clutter these rooms up to the brim full of stuff. And yeah, that's exactly what I did <laughs> for this room. And yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I, I've been enjoying that part in that portion. And I've been in a really big building funk recently. So hopefully I'll be able to, you know, post more builds. Hopefully, you know, um, I'm also finished my internship. So now I'm only focusing on school and work. So hopefully I might be able to get more videos up. Let's hope this is going to be a hope. Like today I have all my schoolwork done and I don't work till like Saturday. So I'm kind of like in this thing where I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, let's get some recording up. I actually have time to do recording. So I'm gonna record like 500 videos, hopefully, hopefully. I don't know if I will actually do that or not. Um, but you know, here's to hoping and dreaming and stuff like that. Uh, oh gosh, I really wanna build a Tumblr like as like grunt tumbler aesthetic uh build for a bathroom now i might put that down on a list i need to put down i need to make a list uh like a build idea list on my phone or something 
where I just do like Tumblr inspired or just like room ideas and things like that. Because I actually haven't done a room build that's a reno that's not a renovation room in a long time. So maybe I could do that. You know, I could possibly do that. But I really, I also like really enjoy doing these remodeled rooms. It's probably some of the most fun rooms I or fun builds I've ever done and. Yeah, so hopefully I'll have a post up about this and then later about that I will, or later with that I will have a, um, you know, not that. So here's me going through the build items, or the debug items, just, you know, seeing if I could put anything there. So I put like a toilet plunger in, I put like a cleaning sp supply spray in there, and I think I put... I put like some makeup items as well on like some of the counters and stuff so like yeah there's that so you know yeah like that right there I put that on there and I put some chapstick on the counter and then I tried to put like the nail file over there but it disappeared so there's a, a disappearing nail file in there so you know fun things like that but yeah I really I, I enjoy building stuff like that so you know fun things like that um but yeah so this is pretty much the end of the build so this is me coming back and I changed the wallpaper last minute because I'm sorry I was trying to go for this industrial theme style and the wallpaper was literally just killing my groove too much so I just changed the wallpaper and like I mean it says the wallpaper is advised I also need to put in um it, or put in uh, advice to keep the item colors the same swatches as originally placed so I might do that but yeah here's the screenshots it will be up on the gallery and this download will also be or the download for this room will also be up on tumblr later yeah <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like and subscribe and all the other fun stuff and yeah I'll see you guys next time bye